Hi friends, welcome to Venki's channel. Today I am going to show you how to solve this Rubik's Cube. To solve a Rubik's Cube, first we need to learn the Rubik's Notation. That means how to understand a formula. R means right side clockwise, like this. R prime means right side down or right side counterclockwise. L means left side down or left side clockwise. L prime means left side up or left side counterclockwise. U means the upper layer left or upper layer clockwise. U prime means the upper layer right side or the upper layer counterclockwise. D means the down layer right side or the down layer clockwise. D prime means the down layer left side or the down layer counterclockwise. F means the front layer right side or the front layer clockwise. F prime means the front layer left side or the front layer counterclockwise. B means the back layer left side or the back layer clockwise. B prime means the back layer right side or the back layer right counterclockwise. Now I am going to scramble this cube. The first step to solve a cube is to make a plus on any side. I have chosen green as my side. If you want to make a green plus then you have to make blue as your center. Now we have to make a diamond on the blue side. We have to make four pieces come into place for the diamond. I already have one piece which came into place. Now we have to make the other pieces come into place. Another piece has come into the place. Now three pieces have come into the place and only one piece is left. Now all the four pieces for the diamond have come into the place. The next step is to make the plus. Now the edge here contains two colors. One is green and the other is red. Now we have to match this red piece with the red center. Right now it's with the orange center. Now it is matched with the red center. Now we have to turn this front side two times or 180 degrees. Now we have to go for the next edge with green color. This has green and white. We have to choose edges only with the green color. We have to match this with the white centerpiece. It has matched with the white centerpiece. Now we have to turn this upside down. The next edge has green and orange. We have to match this with the orange center. And now we have to turn it upside down. The next edge has green and yellow. We have to match it with the yellow center. And we have to turn it upside down. If we turn the whole cube upside down, the plus will be finished. It's no problem if other pieces are also solved. The next step is to solve the first layer. For that, we need to find a green piece in the bottom layer. Yeah, we found a green piece. Now we have to look what piece is beside the green color. Beside the green color, there is a white piece. 
but the white piece in the side is in the side of red center it shouldn't be like that it should be only in the white center now it is matched with the white center and now since the green this green color is on the right side we have to turn this bottom layer left side and replace this empty piece with this piece by turning this down and replacing it and again we have to turn this back up this piece has solved now sometimes you may not find anything in the bottom layer during that time it means that the piece is in the top layer but turned wrongly we have to make this piece come into the bottom layer for that turn this layer down and move this bottom layer to the left or right now the green piece has come into the bottom layer and we have to turn this back up to make this normal now this green piece has yellow beside it we have to match this with the yellow center and now we have to make sure that the green piece is right in the front of us now we have to turn the bottom layer right side because the green is on the left side and now we have to replace this empty piece with the green piece now the whole first layer is solved The next step is to solve the second layer or the middle layer. This layer does not have any corners. So we have to find only edge pieces without the blue color because all the blue color pieces lay in the bottom layer. And we have to find the edge pieces without the blue color only in the bottom layer. This edge piece does not have blue in it. It has orange and yellow. The front piece has orange so we have to match it with the orange center and this has yellow on the bottom yellow is to the right of it it will never be behind it will always be to the right or to the left since yellow is to the right we have to move this bottom layer to the left and move the right layer down and replace it now one corner got misplaced now we have to replace that corner by using the previous method after we replace the corner this edge piece will be solved now this part is solved in the same way we have to find another edge without blue in the bottom layer i have found orange and white we have to match the front piece with the center now i have matched orange with the orange center now white is to the left so we have to move the bottom layer to the right and move the left layer to the down and replace it now one corner got misplaced using the same method for the first layer we have to replace the corner and then this white orange piece will be swapped now i have found red and white piece the front layer has red piece so i have matched it with the red center and white is to the right so i have moved it to the left and replaced it now the corner got misplaced so i will replace the corner using the previous method now i have found the yellow and red one i have matched it with the center and now since red is to the right i move it to the left and use the same method now the top two layers are finished the next step is to finish the third layer it will be comfortable if we turn the cube upside down for the third layer to solve the third layer the first step is to make a cross on the blue side you may get different cases during this time like only the center solved or an l shape or a horizontal line or a vertical line i have got on a horizontal line but even if you get only the center piece with something else solved or an l shape you can use this formula if you have gotten an l shape make sure that 
one edge is facing you and the other edge is facing to the right. If you have gotten a vertical line, make it horizontal by turning the top layer. If you have gotten only the centerpiece solved, you can keep it anywhere, means you can turn the top layer. If you have gotten the cross already or the plus already, you can skip this step. After you do all this, the formula is F R U R prime U prime and F prime. F the front layer, R U R prime U prime and F prime. Now the cross has finished. If you have gotten an L shape, the cross may not be finished. You will get a vertical line or a horizontal line. Then you have to repeat the step and then the cross will be solved. The next step is to match all the edges with the center pieces. As you can see, right now it's not matched. If I turn it once, it will be matched. But every time you may not get such cases. Right now, only one edge is solved for me. If Even if I turn it, nothing will be solved. But we have to keep turning till any two are solved. For me now, orange and yellow are solved. You will for sure get any two edges solved. When you get any two edges solved like this, you have to keep one edge to the back and one edge to the left. Now use this formula. R U2 R prime U prime R U prime R prime U prime and now all the edges are solved. And the plus has not got disturbed. Now the next step is to place the corners. The remaining four pieces to solve. Now we have to find any one corner placed correctly. For me this corner is placed correctly. You might be wondering this is not solved but how is this placed correctly. As you can see this corner has three colors. This piece has three colors. They are blue, red and yellow it's, and it's aligned with the centers. Blue, red, yellow and blue, red and yellow. Placement is nothing but the centers should be matching. It's no problem even if they are not turned correctly. If you have one of these solved or placed, you have to keep this to the bottom right. The bottom right position. If you don't have to the bottom right position like this, you can turn your cube and make it to the bottom right position. Now, hold the cube like this and use this formula. Turn the left side up and now move this away, right side up, move this back, left side down, move this back, right side down and move this piece which has gone back into its place. Now, you can see that none of the corners are still solved except this. So, we have to do this step again. Now, all the corners are placed correctly. Blue, red and yellow. Blue, red and yellow. Blue, red, white. Blue, red, white. Blue, orange, white. Blue, orange, white. Blue, orange, yellow and blue, orange, yellow. Now, when you get like this, you have to turn your cube upside down. You might have one or more corners solved. But make sure that the bottom right one is not solved. It should be unsolved. After you catch it like this, you have to repeat a single formula. R U R prime U prime till this corner is solved or turned. Now this corner is turned. So most of the cube got displaced. No need to worry about it. Just move the next piece to this place. The next unsolved piece. And again repeat this formula. 
R U R prime U prime, and this is again solved. Now move the next unsolved piece to this place, and now again use the formula R U R prime U prime repeatedly till it's solved. Now this piece is solved. Let's go for this piece. Move this to this place, and again use the formula R U R prime U prime till the whole cube is solved. Now, if we turn the bottom layer once, the whole cube is solved. If you practice this method for a few days, you can solve the cube in less than two minutes. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Thank you for watching.